Hello YouTubers and welcome. I have this speaker for you. As you can see, this is a speaker for the blowout channel. So yeah, guys, let's begin. This is just a sound test, by the way, guys. Here's where the volume is and where the travel and bass is. I'm going to turn the volume up a bit more, guys. I'm going to be doing another speaker now, guys. And here is the next speaker, guys. Sorry about the picture quality being really fuzzy, guys. Just really hard for this camera to focus. Here is the next speaker. This is a Logitech from the Logitech 313 system, the satellite. Oh, I got four of these, by the way, guys. So I had two satellites. These are very low power wattage, but they move quite a bit, as you can see. This next speaker came out of one of those really cheap radios, so yeah, let's begin. As you can see, it has no movement to it. Here is the next speaker. This one's from also from a stereo. This has quite a beefy magnet. This is a true three watt speaker. As you can see, the magnet is actually quite big. But yeah, let's begin. Don't expect there to be great bass because as you can see the ground is half gone. This thing does have a decent amount of movement. As you can see guys. So yeah, 
Hello and welcome back. This is from a um, iPod speaker. Don't know the homage. This is 10 watts. This has been sitting outside for a very long time. As you can see, there's like all rust encroaching inside. So I don't know how this speaker's going to sound. Let's begin. They're all at the same volume, by the way, guys, and same med medium treble and medium bass. As you can see, right there. Here is the next speaker. This actually is a brand new one. I actually now have four of these. The other ones are in really bad condition, but these things, this, the Sony stereo they used to go in was crap. These had no high sound to them. They were really quiet speakers and even at max volume. I checked to see if it had anything wrong. It didn't. It was just an extremely quiet stereo, which is a shame because the magnet is an alright size. As you can see, but anyway, let's begin the sound test on this. This is a bass boosted song by the way guys. Yeah, it's even struggling on this as well. These speakers are not powerful. Hello and welcome back. Now, in my older video, guys, you might remember a white creative subwoofer I used to have. This was a satellite to it. Um. I've abused the heck out of this, the frame's all bent as you can see, it surrounds all messed up, it does move a decent amount, it's apparently supposed to be a 10 watt, this is a satellite speaker as well, but yeah guys, as you can see, it's got a decent um, magnetic shield, so it's, I don't think it's 10 watts, I think it's more like probably a 6 watt, as you can see by the voice call size, it's not huge, but yeah. Anyway, let's begin. This one's probably the best sounding and best moving one. Be sure to wear headphones, guys, so you can hear better sound quality. Now this speaker came out of a little speaker box, like the um, realistic speaker I did a video on, but uh, this was a the original speaker, I upgraded it to a different one which sounds better, and I put this one outside for quite a while, as you can see the cone has really gone white, it used to be black, it's a 15 watt speaker, it, I don't think it actually is because it bottoms out. Well, it don't bottom out, but you can hear it struggling just at low volumes. Yeah, I'm playing the same song again on this speaker. You can already hear it distorting. That's how bad it is when the bass hits.
it's not really moving as much as it is on camera guys hello guys and welcome back now this is also a 15 watt spe speaker now this is a true 15 watt speaker and as you guys can see look at the difference so this is a tone this one is slightly different homage this is 16 but that's 15 watt so is that this is a true 15 watt speaker so now guys you can understand where i'm coming from look at the voice call sizes as well way bigger voice call sizes but yeah let's begin with the uh, video this is a three inch by the way this is a sony subwoofer which has a slight bit of voice call rub And the subwoof is barely moving. That's how powerful it is. Sorry about the background, guys. But yeah, this speaker, this is a subwoofer. This is from a make called Ministry of Sound. Now, if you're unsure of the make of Ministry of Sound, this is actually a... Um, Ministry of Sound is actually a song. But they also made a row of speakers. This has a relatively big voice coil, a relatively big magnet. It's just such a shame they haven't vented it because it doesn't sound the greatest. It is a four inch as well. This is the beefiest four inch I've got aside from the realistic subwoofer and the the Logitech L4 or L3. No, not L3, Z3, sorry. But yeah, let's begin. So here is the next speaker guys, this came out of a 32 inch Bush flat screen TV. This has two magnets on it, like the old Sony does, but I think this has got neodymium magnets on it. This isn't a very powerful speaker at all, which is such a shame because it's such a cool interesting speaker. But uh, yeah guys, let's uh, begin. Same volume. All that distortion, guys, is coming from the actual speaker, not the amp. Here's the next speaker. This came out of a 30-inch TV. Now, the reason why it looks so tatty is I ripped the side of it off. Very tiny uh, voice coil. As you can see, very sort of shallow and incredibly dusty. These things claim that they are 10 watt. They are not 10 watt. These sound alright, but they could be better. So yeah, let's begin on the sound testing this.
Now this one came out of a 40 inch TV. That's the name, ITN. These things actually sound really decent. Something, I don't know if to keep them or blow them because they actually sound pretty good. I got a second one. I could put new voice calls on them. They do look like you got foam rot, but it's not. It's just the color of the foam. So yeah, these these are pretty good sounding speakers. So yeah, let's. This will be the last video. This, this will be the last of the speakers. So you can comment down below and see what your opinion is on them. These are all of them, and obviously there's pairs of some of them. So like these, there's pairs of, and so on. They're for this for a um, speaker blowout I'm going to be doing soon. Um, I'm sorry I haven't got the t-shirts out yet, guys, but I need to get the money towards getting the t-shirts. Yeah. As you can hear, they sound pretty good. I really don't want to blow these things. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Those are all the speakers to come. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.